hopes fade for the five wealthy Titanic tourists who vanished while exploring the wreck aboard a mini submarine, one question keeps arising. What happened? It is possible that no one will ever know after the sub called Titan suddenly went silent hundreds of miles off the coast of Canada and around 13,000 feet underwater beside the Titanic. On board was a British billionaire, one of Pakistan's richest men and his son, a famed French explorer, and the CEO of the company running the dive. They began their voyage early Sunday with 96 hours of oxygen inside the sub and have not been heard from since. Submarine experts agree that five possible accidents are the most likely cause. Perhaps the most obvious explanation is that the submersible became tangled in the wreckage of the Titanic itself. The ship split into two pieces as it sank back in 1912, and those sections now lie amidst a huge debris field on the seabed. Navigating the wreck is extremely dangerous, according to those who have dived it. It is possible that the sub's pilot got disoriented, perhaps after communications were interrupted, causing the craft to get snagged. Another explorer has described how a sudden undersea current swept his submarine into the wreck, getting it temporarily stuck. Titan is equipped with drop weights, which can be thrown overboard to give it extra buoyancy, potentially freeing it and helping it float to the surface. But if it is stuck, for example, inside the Titanic, there could be little the crew would be able to do except wait for help. A banging noise picked up on sonar could be the trapped crew knocking on the hull of the sub to attract attention, but rescuers have still been unable to find the craft. Titan could also have suffered a power outage or equipment failure. The sub relies on batteries to power the communications and a failure could explain why it lost contact with the surface. But they also power the engines, the lights and the heating. A catastrophic failure would have left the sub dead in the water, in complete darkness and in freezing temperatures. If that is the case, Experts say the cold could kill quicker than the lack of oxygen. Questions have been raised over the quality of the sub after one passenger pulled out over fears the company building it were cutting corners. He discovered that scaffolding poles were being used as ballast and a video game controller was being used for steering. After that, he demanded his money back. An Ocean Gate engineer also previously quit over safety concerns about the structural integrity of the sub, and an industry body wrote a letter in 2018 criticizing the company's experimental approach. Losing power would make the sub harder to find, and there will still be the matter of getting it back to the surface when its engines aren't working. They may still be able to surface, but there is no sign of the vessel yet. Alistair Grieg, a professor of marine engineering at the University College London, said rescue options will be extremely limited if the sub is without power. Another possibility is that the sub has become tangled on a piece of debris like a fishing net. Thousands of so-called ghost nets are swept around the deep ocean after being lost by trawler men. Back in 2005, a Russian submersible called AS-28 became tangled on just such a net while it was underwater off the Kamchatka Peninsula in far eastern Siberia. The net got caught in its propellers and caused it to sink to the seabed, with a British underwater drone brought in to cut the netting and free it. All seven crew members made it safely to the surface two days later. But they were stuck under just a few hundred feet of water, compared to the Titan's 13,000. To cut the craft free, Rescuers will first have to find it, and sonar is not good at distinguishing the sub from the wreckage of the Titanic scattered around it. And even if it can be cut free, the Titan will still have to make it back to the surface on its own, because transferring the crew to another vessel at that depth 
is impossible. After the submersible suddenly stopped communicating with no explanation, a catastrophic implosion of the vessel has become a leading theory. G. Michael Harris, an experienced Titanic explorer, fears that is exactly what happened 10,000 feet down, where the pressure is 350 times greater than at the surface. When a submarine's hull fails at depth, the pressure of the ocean will almost instantly crush it and anyone inside. Even a small fault in the carbon fiber and titanium hull could have caused the accident, and Titan's three previous voyages were cancelled over fears of structural fatigue. Owners Oceangate said the vessel, which features many homemade components such as hardware store washers, had been repaired since and was equipped with a sophisticated system to monitor for any problems in the hull. But if an issue had suddenly occurred deep underwater, it is doubtful the crew could have done anything in time to save themselves. Just such an incident occurred in 2017 when the Argentinian Navy submarine ARA San Juan went missing in the San George Gulf. The wreck was only located a year later, scattered deep down on the seabed. It is not known exactly what caused the accident, but it is thought an electrical failure caused it to dive beyond its crush depth, causing an implosion, killing all 44 people on board. If that is what happened to the Titan, then the crew would have been killed instantly. Another possibility is a fire on board, perhaps caused by water getting into the electrics. In 2019, a blaze broke out inside the battery compartment of the Russian submarine Losharik while it was a thousand feet underwater. Fighting the fire in corridors as narrow as a few feet, the crew managed to get Losharik back to its parent submarine, which hauled it to the surface. 14 submariners, some of the most experienced and highly decorated in the whole of the Russian Navy, were killed. If a similar blaze were to break out on board the Titan, then the results could easily be fatal. Even if the crew somehow got the flames under control, the fire could knock out the electronics and eat up the oxygen inside the tiny 21-foot craft. There is still a lot we don't know about the Titan's fate, or the fates of the men on board. If the craft can somehow get itself to the surface, then there is hope that they can be saved. But if it is really stuck at the bottom of the ocean, then the chances of finding them alive are slim and fading fast.